All right, everybody, welcome to First Attack here on Ultra Chen TV. Yeah, I gotta mute my own computer, but uh, we have a very special episode today. Normally, we, we like to, when games come out, we like to try to, you know, help people learn these games. And today is gonna be all Persona 4 Arena. And we have a lot of special guests with us today, um, in particular, well, of course, and I'm joined here by Ultra David. <laughs> What's up? And um, we have a special guest here today. Uh, this is Yu Namba from Atlas. Hello. Uh, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself, what you do for Atlas and such? Um, well, I basically you know, manage all these different games as you know, project lead. Uh, for, for this one, yes, you know, I was a project lead, so I was pretty much doing everything from you know, like QA to voice recording to checking attacks to whatever. And of course PR, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> nice, cool, cool. So obviously this game is coming out tomorrow on mm -hmm. Xbox and PS3. Mm -hmm. So hopefully everyone will have a chance to, to pick that up tomorrow. But um, you know, early on we <laughs> tweeted a bunch of people and asked them if they had questions. Yeah, we actually got a ton of responses on Twitter and I posted the same thing up on forums, um, basically everywhere. And uh, we got a ton of emails and questions from everywhere. So I have, you know, literally a page and a half of <laughs> questions <laughs> that I, I'm, I'm sure we'll get to organically because we'll just be asking, you know, you. And then later on, we have uh, James Schiff sure come on right. and, and explain things. So I'm sure a lot of that will just happen. But mm -hmm. if we miss something, I, I took as many questions as I possibly could. If you still have a question that you haven't gotten to ask us, please send us a tweet at TV or send us an email at ultrachentv at gmail.com and we'll try to get to it. We've, we've been as thorough as we possibly could be in the previous times we've done this. I mean, we've stayed up until midnight or 12.30 or whatever it was <laughs> yeah, before. Yeah, so we, did. We're, we we'll, did. We'll try to get whatever we can get uh, as, as long as we're not tired yet, not as, as long as we're still alive. Right, right, so. for sure. So, I mean, obviously Atlas is uh, putting a lot behind the Persona 4 mm -hmm. here coming out very soon, but a lot of people already have questions about future plans for Persona. <laughs> the game's not even out yet, and everybody's been talking about, you know, future stuff, you mm. know? And so, you know, like some of the main questions we get, obviously, are uh, mm. a lot of people who are not console I'm players, who are PC players. Mm. Is this game coming out on PC? Are there any plans for this game to come out on PC? I know that, you know, there were a number of Arc System Works, you know, fighting game titles, you know, that were out on PC. Mm -hmm. But um, as of now, uh, we don't have any plans to release uh, Persona 4 Arena on PC, okay. uh, both in Japan and in North America. Oh really? Okay, okay. Cool, cool. And um, what about, like, I know some people are asking as well about potential DLC characters or anything like that in the game. Are there going to be any DLC characters? Well, um, you know how you know Blaze Blue's been going. You know, like every now and then they add more characters in right. you know, um, as a title update and whatnot. Um, right now, um, we will have a number of DLC items uh, upon the release of the game tomorrow, <laughs> but um, there will be like cosmetics, uh, like different colors, oh, um, addition okay, gotcha. of like you know glasses, right. um, you know <laughs> things like that. But no additional <laughs> characters at this point. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. So speaking of speaking of patches, um, you, you know it was it was news when the game came out in Japan that the the net code for online play on the 360 version was uh, it had some problems. Right. It was not good. Mm -hmm. um, any expected patch date for for that? Well, uh, first let me say uh, that uh, there were people in Japan who figured that that it's actually not like like online lag that's the issue. Um, you know, I really can't go into details, but um, um, there was something funky going on with the 360 version. That's for sure. Okay. And um, Japan side has already announced uh, that they're working on a patch. Um, the patch is actually uh, for both the Japanese and the North American versions. Um, they're working on it at the same time. As soon as you know it gets approved, um, it will go live on Xbox Live. Okay, um, and you know not everybody watching is from North America or from Japan. I mean, uh, do you know? I know you're not publishing the game outside of North America, but do you have any information on? whether that patch will be something that will come out with the game elsewhere? Um, for the European version, uh, Zen is going to be releasing the, the title. You know, they've been doing all the promos in Europe. Um, I heard that you know, they had you know, a little bit of showing at like, Japan Expo, uh, Expo in France. Um, for their version, I'm hoping that you know, all these patches and whatnot are included in the actual physical copy, so they don't have to worry about like, downloading nice. a patch. Nice. Cool, cool. Okay. 
Yeah, and for those people who are asking, uh, some people are, are still asking about PC version. <laughs> we already answered that a little bit earlier, right. mentioning that there, currently there are no plans for the PC, for a PC version. But uh, you I mean, know. I can't say anything about the future, but you know, right. as of now, no PC. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and um, you know, obviously this game was, you know, they just said, I guess in Japan it's the number one it's like the most highest selling fighting game in the first week yeah like, um, it's sold crazy um i want to say that it actually like beat the the console version tekken 6 on the first you know a few days uh i think it was yeah i remember That's what reading, I, heard, I remember reading the list it's like the number three fighting game but the first two are kind of like pseudo fighting games like not real fighting games so this is like the the number one selling pure fighting game for the first week of sales in Japan, like since 2009 or 10 or something like that. So, I mean, wow. the, the game um, is a very well made fighting game, but at the same time, you know, it's roots from the the JRPG series, right. you know, that our companies you know released, and um, we try to cater towards both the RPG fans. So that you know, oh, it's pretty easy death. for them to you know play this game, uh, even if you know they didn't have any previous experience in playing fighting games. But at the same time, to fighting game fans too, um, you know, making the, the the game system pretty you know robust in depth. Right. You know, that's mainly why you know we went with art systems because you know they've had the the history of you know such well made games. Right. right. Yeah. yeah um, you know, usually we just talk about. Uh, fighting games from a tournament perspective and competitive perspective, but the game's story mode is so robust that like, I guess we should talk about that for a little bit. And I know that, I'm sure that there are some people who are watching who whose main interest is the story <laughs> and not necessarily the game, the gameplay mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. um, so can you can you talk a little bit about, about that? Yeah, um, of course, like, you know, no spoilers, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the game does take place after the end of Persona 4. Um, so it's actually a direct sequel, yes, right? Yes, it is a sequel. Okay, okay. Um, and, you know, there are, you know, appearances from um, Persona 3 as well um, in the same timeline. So um, at the time of Persona 4, uh, it's been a few years since the end of Persona 3. So that's why um, um, people like Akihiko and Mitsuru are, you know, uh, they've grown old into their, you know, I would oh, say like like twenties or so. Um, okay. Like you know, they're in college, and okay. yeah, um, the story this turned out to be huge for us. Um, it, it took forever <laughs> yeah. for us to localize. It took forever for us to do all the voice recording. I mean, it, it's long, and I'm sure that you know people who are in for the story will you know. Enjoy every little bit of it. Now, is there a different story mode for every character, or is it just like one comprehensive story mode? It is one comprehensive, okay. but um, if you play each character, uh, they'll see the story through you know a different oh, perspective. Oh, interesting! Yeah, so depending cool. on the character you play, you'll see it kind of differently. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in other words, if you play all the characters through the story mode, you kind of get a different thing. You yeah, get a um, different way. Sort of kind of like the 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 Blaze Blue story mode. Um, okay, cool. You know, each character has, you know, their own thing. You know, it's still occurring at the same time. Right. But, you know, like, for this character, you know, they were actually doing this while the other character was doing something else at the same right. time. You know, right. things like that. Okay. Yeah, cool. I actually had a chance to, to play the game a little bit yesterday um, for a while. And the first thing that I did was go into story mode. Um, <laughs> in part to troll the people that I was hanging out with. But I, I, I was really interested to see how it was. And it was, it's basically like a visual novel. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. Yeah, nice, yeah. Nice. And, and uh, I played the game for a good 15 minutes before I, I got into fighting, uh, actual fighting. So <laughs> it was, it's, definitely, it's definitely all about the story. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, if you're into cool, that, that's, cool. it's, uh, apparently it does a good job. Oh, we, we did get a couple questions. Um, Voice acting is it? Are they the same actors as before? Um, as much as possible. Uh, there were a oh couple, couple okay, of them okay. that you know we just couldn't. Uh, but I'm sure that you know once people do play this game, especially um, not just a fighting um, fighting screen, but you know once you go into the the story mode and whatnot, um, you'll either not feel that much difference uh, from the the old version to you know this current version right. um, you know some people may actually prefer um, we'll, we'll see I know that you know there are people you know who are strong fans of the original voice actors and you know I, I wish I could have done something about it but um, 
at the same time, we we really spent a lot of effort into you know having these new voice actors, so you know they'll do their best in this game. Okay. All right. Well, um, so obviously uh, we were talking about you know that you guys went with Arc System Works to develop this game because of their history with Gloss Blue mm -hmm. and Guilty Gear. A lot of people are actually asking now that a new version of Blas Blue is coming out. Is that going to, I mean, are, are both of these games going to be kind of like developed parallel so that there'll be new versions of this game and such? Or, you know, some people, I guess some people are just expressing some concern that mm -hmm. it means that, oh, they're developing Blas Blue, they're not going to work on Persona anymore, <laughs> you know, kind of a thing, so. Well, I mean, the, the game in the arcade, you know, came out, you know, like towards the, the end of last year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's still relatively new. Right. Um, the console releases tomorrow, <laughs> right? But um, we we hope that you know there will be you know sequels. You know, I hope that you know it's not just this game and that's it. Uh, right. I really do want to have um, this game continue on um, as a, a good series. But um, it is in fact you know developed by the people who made Blaze Blue. Right, right. So um, you know, just have to manage time, I guess. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, I mean, do you have any other questions from the list there? Um, you know, nothing that I guess we can address a little bit later. Um, okay. People wanted to know things like um, if they can only get one game, you know, what makes Persona better than Guilty Gear AC Plus coming yeah, out. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's I don't just really know that you we gotta, can get yeah, that, right? we, you can't answer that question. Yeah. That's just gonna be a preference thing. Right. That is true. But um, you do have to uh, consider the fact that, you know, I said earlier, but this game, you know, is made so that it's friendly towards the people who haven't uh, yeah. played fighting games before. And in that respect, um, Guilty Gear series, as they progressed, uh, you know, through the course of their history, has become harder <laughs> and more technical. <laughs> um, yes. You know, so um, I would say. It's probably easier to pick this game up and start okay. um, playing than you know uh, to jump into like Axon Core. I would say. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. It, but I'm not saying that you know this game isn't deep or anything. Yeah. Um, actually, you know this game is you know, a lot of fun. Yeah, okay. it seems cool. Okay. Uh, as for you, who do you like to use? Well, um, my primary character is Yukiko. Uh -huh. um, because you know her her name does have my name in there a little bit. Well, there's, well, a there's, character, there's, there's a character named you. Yeah, in exactly. There. That's why I started practicing him too. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, look, the first four letters of his name are the same as yours, oh, look at this. which so, is true. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, um, wow. Coincidence. You know, there was you know, um, no input from my end. <laughs> but yeah, um, you is a very basic character you know um, he's got the fireball he's got the uppercut he's got the you know like a rush move you know he's got pretty much like everything you know that you would want from a basic character or a standard character so he's probably one of the easiest character to start playing the game with okay. cool cool well the last thing I have to ask is mm -hmm. so what what is this thing oh, that yeah. I have sitting up here yeah we actually got a new thing if you guys haven't yeah, noticed let me, let me, let me <laughs> grab this carefully here let's I don't want to drop this thing or break it. I want to bring it closer to the camera. Oh, can people see that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. This this sick little thing here. <laughs> so this is a iconic persona from Persona Three, the the God of Death Thanatos. Um, in this game, the character Elizabeth will be primarily using this persona. Um, but yeah, um, he's pretty wicked. Um, you might not yeah. want to you know, face him in fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just, just as we've been talking, we've gotten a couple of questions on Twitter. Okay. Um, will you need to have played previous uh, Personas to understand and get something out of this game's story mode? Um, it helps if you played Persona 4, for sure, because it is a direct sequel. But um, there is a, like a little bit of like a digest story, I guess. Um, um, that's embedded in the story oh, okay. uh, story mode, like here and there. So um, people who haven't played uh, Persona Four before will have like a decent understanding. Okay. Okay. And then uh, any chance of a color edit mode? Um, we do have alternate color palettes, right. and uh, we will have um, more colors, just like you know how the uh, Arc System did with uh, Blaze Blue, but uh, no color edit. Okay. At least right now. Okay. Okay. 
cool. Um, okay, well, I think that's all for me for for now, as far okay. as this kind of question goes. Sure, sure, no problem. And uh, I guess we'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll try to get into some more of the game mechanics and the system mechanics. So yeah, getting in the meat. Yep, exactly. So, so we can find, we can all start learning because I haven't touched this game. Today is the first day that I've ever touched the game. Okay. Joystick, anything like even from E3 anywhere. Okay. I have not touched this game yet, so I'm gonna be learning this alongside everybody all right. else. So when we come back, we'll start our uh, lessons. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, we're going on with Persona 4. We're going to get into the meat of the game here, so we're going to start learning about this game. So, um, you know, the first question that, you know, obviously whenever you want to pick up a fighting game and such is, what's the controls exactly like? I mean, we talked about it a little bit last week on the show, and uh, we were completely wrong with the buttons. I thought it was like weak, medium, heavy, and then a Persona <laughs> button, and then... It, like everybody tweeting me is like, no, you idiot! It's a weak attack, strong attack, and then weak persona attack and strong persona attack, yeah. which is very interesting. Like, so surprise me, because you know, I, I I wasn't expecting it to be that way. But um, all right, so let's let's go over to the game, yeah. check it out. So here we go. So I'm controlling you here, and you're tr well. I'm controlling the character <laughs> you, that's, that's and you're issue. controlling the the character Yukiko here. So obviously, like you said, we have um, whoops, we have weak attack, mm -hmm. strong attack, mm -hmm. weak persona attack, and strong persona attack. Now mm -hmm. the interesting thing to me, let's talk about button layout first. On the default controller, when you get buy this game right out of the box. Mm -hmm. You know how how is the button set up here? So well, it looks see. like try, try going with the default real yeah. quick. So we're on defaults here. So if I come out here mm -hmm. and I have my buttons here like this, hey, uh, you know what you should do is turn on the the button display. The oh button yeah, display. yeah, good idea. Um, let's see. Go to the very top. Okay, so go to the very true. bottom, and then input history damage info. Both. Both. Okay, oh, solid. There so now you can see my... So that's weak. Mm -hmm. And now by default, it's interesting that, you know, as Street Fighter players, we're always going to be used to having weak to strong on the same row. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? So you would think that this game would be weak attack and then strong attack on the top row. But mm -hmm. that's not how this game works. No, it's not. Not by default. Mm -hmm. By default, if you look at the button configuration, this is weak attack. And then under it is strong attack. Mm -hmm. And then weak persona attack is in the right upper corner, mm -hmm. and then strong persona attack is in the bottom right. So it's actually weak on the top and strong on the bottom. And that's the default, the way it works in the arcade as well. Right? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, and in the arcade, I would say like all of the arcade in Japan, um, they have the, the button set up in the, the square uh, mm -hmm. placement uh, with exactly, you know, the, the function that James pointed out right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Weak, strong, weak, strong. Right. But it's it's called, they're called A, B, C, D. Right, yes. right. right. So the, the way that I was thinking about it when I played yesterday, this is the button layout that I was using. Even oh, it was? I, oh, okay. I was just, I wasn't thinking of it as weak and strong. Like, I know it's called that. Uh -huh. But I was just thinking of it as A, B. And like, and that, mm -hmm. oh, and thinking about right. it like that, like I didn't have any issue with thinking that something was they were both weak, so they should be on a particular side or not. Hmm. Well, see, the interesting thing about it is that in King of Fighters, if you come from King of Fighters, yeah. right, weak A is weak punch, right. and B is weak, weak kick. kick. But but here's here's the thing though, as you as you play the game, like you'll see that the the weak persona versus strong persona uh -huh. isn't really like that. Like no, they just they just do different things. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's, it's not it's not it's not like you see like the persona go boom and then with with the weak one and then go whoa with the big. It's not like that. <laughs> yeah. Like they, they do different things. So okay. it's it's okay. not an issue. I mean, in fact, um, you know, just for the the name convention's sake, you know, they call it like weak strong, weak strong. Uh -huh. But you know, honestly, it is more like 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 a weak strong persona. And then like one extra button in there, yeah. Um, it, it, especially it, since you know there, are, um, that that last button, the the D button, yeah. uh, does different things for each character's persona. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Some of them do attack. Some of them do like completely different things. Right. right. Okay. Okay. 
So those are the buttons that we have here. And um, the first thing that I've already noticed about, I mean, I don't even know if we want to start going into chain combos and stuff like that already. Um, let's let's actually just, just talk about what the button combinations do, because it's not just that there's four buttons. Like, everything does a different thing, <laughs> you know? So right, right. Okay. Just explain it real fast, because you can see the inputs down there. Right, so in other words, if I hit the two attack buttons at the same time, I do this glowing attack. What is this? Well, um, all these button combinations are actually grouped them separately. Mm -hmm. um, if you hit the A and B buttons together, um, they're prime, um, they're attack based. If you do when you're standing up, mm -hmm. it'll do an overhead attack where it's called an all out attack. Okay. So you do have to stand block. Okay. Um, and if you do it crouching, you do a sweep. Uh, universal okay, sweep. Okay, gotcha. So it's a universal sweep, universal overhead. Exactly. Interesting. Okay, okay, nice. Now, um, if you go next into the A button and C buttons together, so the, the, the top, top two, two buttons, right. these are movement based. Oh, interesting. Um, when standing, um, you'll do this thing called um, evasive action, basically a roll. Right, right, so it's like a KOF roll here. Exactly. Okay, okay. Uh, you're completely invincible in the middle of the roll. And, of course, you can get thrown out, but otherwise you're pretty safe. Okay. But there is vulnerability at the beginning and at the end. And, and the at the end. And okay. if you do get caught at the end, uh, you will get countered. And that oh, hurts a lot. Oh, there's actual counter hit on mm -hmm. towards mm -hmm. the end. Okay. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. And we'll go into counter hits, obviously, a little sure. bit later on and what that means, so... Um, I mean, I'm just going based off the fact that this, there's a lot of similarities in this game with Guilty Gear. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to assume that a lot of the systems are kind of same. Like the counter hits probably behave a little bit similarly, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I'm sure you guys will be talking later, but there is um, a fatal counter like in Blaze Blue. Oh, okay, 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 cool. We'll go into that. Yeah, for so sure. Yeah, to continue now, on. now going um, going back to the the button. If you press the same button but crouching, you'll do a little hop. Um, you can't uh, change the direction by holding the, the, the stick or anything. Uh -huh. It will always do a little bit of hop at the, you know, okay. towards the front. Okay. But, you know, it's definitely lower than the normal attack, or a normal mm -hmm. jump. Uh, lower than like a, like a low air, air dash. Gotcha. Can you gotcha. air dash out of the hop? No. Um, you can only... Just hop. Okay. And attack. And you can course. attack, right? Yeah. Okay. Like that. And but when you hop and attack, it's just your normal jump attacks, right? They're not like special hop no. attacks. Or anything. Okay. However, um... It takes a little bit of, or um, there's a little bit of delay at the very beginning, um, okay. so you can't like you know press right. the button immediately. And uh, once you land, you know there's a little bit of delay at the end as okay. well. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But now, it, it is a quick, you know, like overhead if you want to okay. do it. Do these button combinations work in the air? No. Yes. Oh, now okay. um, th this actually goes back to the original PlayStation Guilty Gear. If you the do the original these, yes, one, the original huh? one. Wow. Okay. Okay. If you do the um, press these two buttons in the air, you turn around. That's that's uh, A and C in the air, right? Yep. Ooh, so I if you see. do it like normal, you know, you face this way, uh -huh. but if you turn around, see how you you know like do it in the opposite direction. No, it it A C. Right. AC. Oh, I see. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. that's so weird. So if you like you know, jump <laughs> jump over the opponent. Right. You, know, you can't like. You know. So in other words, if I jump over you and I don't hit a button, it's always going to attack the other way like mm -hmm. this. So I actually have to do that. Yep. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now, um, this mechanism was actually in Guilty Gear Iska as well, right, but yeah. I heard that it wasn't that popular. <laughs> yeah, I played Iska a little bit. Yeah. But um, yeah, um, this aerial turn uh -huh. actually has a lot of different uh, properties um, that really? yeah um, that change changes a lot of things. Uh, okay. From like air dash to like certain moves, so um, learning how to use this aerial turn um, oh, is pretty pretty much key to you know figuring out this game. So I can actually jump and do a back hop by going forward. So I can jump. So obviously, okay. Another thing I'll, I'll just go into is everyone has an air dash, right? Mm -hmm. So right. if you look at my forward air dash, it's very offensive, kind of like this. And the back one, you know, it's kind of like they do a little. It doesn't hop. go as far, right? Yeah. But I can actually change it so that if I jump, turn around, and back hop, right, then I can get better cross up yeah. attacks. Yeah, it's a different attack angle. Now, yeah, now take, a, take a look, I, see if I can do it right, but it can be that low. Gotcha, oh, I like gotcha. it. Yeah. Right, 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 right. That that's a sense. that's a regular one. Right, right. so you can kind of go. Or if back. you do it the other way around. Oops. Now, if you just do the, the low air back dash, it only goes that far. Right. But if you turn around and do it, 
You go right, like right, very right, far right, away. Right, right, right. Okay, gotcha. And, and then as far as ground movement options, there's a walk, there's a run, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And then back, and back, and back step. dash. And everyone run. It's like King of Fighters. You just keep running exactly for as long as it can. As far as the back dash goes, invincibility on that. Um, I believe you know it becomes instantly airborne, okay. so uh, you can't avoid throws. Okay. But I'm pretty sure you can get hit in the middle. Go ahead and try it. Yeah. yeah oh, you, oh, you just hit him right out of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, interesting, and it was a knockdown, too. Was that a counter hit when I hit you out of the back dash? Let's, let's see. No. no. Oh, okay, it's okay, okay. Hit. So just jump straight up again? I'm just curious. Oh, I see, so the, everything is a knockdown automatically then. I so, okay, you, you, you had you had recovery in there? Can talk about the recovery options a little bit? Well, I mean, is there any other button combinations that we oh, should yeah, be thinking right. about? Yeah, uh, the next one is pressing the B and D together. Okay, uh, so this is a universal buttons, action right? called Furious Action. It <laughs> uses up a little bit of your life in order to oh, do wow. an invisible attack. Hey, turn no. it off, uh, uh, life regen. On the top. Yeah. Now I'll try it. See how uh, uh, the little bit of the life gauge uh, turns right, blue? Right, uh -huh. no, that's a recoverable, recoverable oh, damage. Okay, okay. It's basically like, you know, focus attack. It's the white damage. Yeah, yeah, white damage. Okay, okay, interesting. So basically, this gives everybody an... So everybody has this move. Yeah. Then. Although, um, like, each character does, you know, things differently. Right. For, for this character, it is an uppercut. For her, um, it does hit, but as long as you hold down the button, it actually heals her too. Oh, whoa. Oh, I didn't know. That's cool. Oh, okay. But there is invincibility. It's invincible yes. from the start. Mm -hmm. So can I do this on wake up? Like when I'm getting up, just like hit um, these buttons? As long as you're able to. Okay. Okay. Now, so it's uh, you almost want to think of it like a like final fight. You know, when you hit the <laughs> buttons and they spin, you use your own life, you know, just to guess, yeah. get them off of you, right? So basically, it's kind of a universal way to get people off of you. But, I mean... Are they all generally pretty punishable, or is it different between characters? Um, depends, really. Um, like for him, you know, he goes up in the air so high. Yeah, they're not all like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. And as for her, you know, um, there's a little bit of you know delay uh, when she okay, lands. Okay. Uh, but other characters like Yosuke, for example, um, he actually does like a sort of like a parry move, but um, it stays um, out for a long time. And you know, I think you know, just just a little bit of recovery at the very end okay. of it. Okay. Oh, I can even do it in the air. Yes. Wow. Um, so okay. you can use it as you know, kind of like a counter against you know people who are like rushing towards you, okay, or okay. using the combo. Wait, gotcha. like, can, can everybody do it in the air? Uh, some people, yeah, but not she, everybody. She can't. She cannot. Oh, okay. she can't do it in the air. So that's okay. not system wide. Oh, I see. So they just come yeah. over persona. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, uh, what about the last two button combinations? Now, uh, the C and D uh -huh. throws a character. Oh, so that's just throw. <laughs> um, okay, gotcha. Know, in the, um, the, the stick neutral position, or if you, you know, go forward, you'll you know, throw in the direction you're facing. Uh -oh, right. If you go backwards, then you'll you know, face, uh, throw the other direction. Right. Okay, okay. And then throw attack? Um, press uh, the same button when you see that exclamation point. Give us a back of life here. Okay, okay. Right. So, oh wow. Oh, it sounds like you have a pretty big window, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool, it, uh, cool. Any idea, like how many frames the window? Uh, is? I wish I can tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, here's a question, and this is, of course, more advanced knowledge, just because um, I am. I, I'm I'll used. To, I've played Glass Blue a little bit, or uh, Blaze Blue. What's the official pronunciation you guys use? In Japan, they call it Blade Blue. Blade blue. Um, I'm I'm more used to saying blaze blue, just uh -huh. because there's a Z in there. Right, right. right. Uh -huh. But but I, I did you know hear I've like heard blaze blue. blue. I've heard blaze blue. I've heard blaze blue. <laughs> I've heard blah blue. I've heard like seven thousand different pronunciations. <laughs> I always say blaze blue, and everyone gets mad at me for saying it that way. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Um, I I just asked uh, James, who's sitting off stream, Jim, uh -huh. Jim Shep. And he said that they've been testing, and it seems like the throw tech window is probably 13 frames, but like okay. not like nine to 13. It's very similar to to the Blaze Blue, then, right? So <laughs> now, so because I've played Blaze Blue before, mm -hmm. can I combo with throw? Yeah, um, there's actually two different ways you can combo, but okay. uh, but uh, let me do this real quick. Okay. Uh, jump up in the air. There is air throw as well. Okay. Okay. And everybody gotcha. has an air throw, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody. Okay. Gotcha. And now, you, can, you can throw tech in the air too. Yeah. Ah, there, there you, you go. go. Wow, you get pushed back far yeah. on the text. Okay. Now, um, Actually, it looks like it depends on the character. Is it? Yeah, do it again. 
Yeah, she gets she gets blown way farther back. Oh. Unless it unless it's, well, let's let me try throwing. Okay. Oops. Oops. No, it's the same. about the same. Yeah. yeah, it's about the same. Now, um, it doesn't apply to all characters, uh -huh. but some characters can do a combo as long as you're in the corner. For example. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. Okay, but in 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 Blaze Blue, you could actually cancel a normal into a throw and, that and you, combo the throw. That you can't. Okay. Uh, if, okay. Yeah, it's not like Guilty Gear or Blaze Blue where you can't actually like you know use a throw in the middle of a combo. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Are there yeah. are there any situations like a command grab or like I don't think so. A special state? No. Okay. Nah. No, no crumple. You know that you can right. throw them out. Yeah. Over the, okay. No, okay. Nothing like that. Like like in the corner, potent can right. go like you know like super throw and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, okay. nothing like that. No. Now, there is another question that I had about throws. Um, in games like Blaze Blue, mm -hmm. you could interrupt your throw animation. Like, you could cancel them into a special move. So that's how you get got some combos mm. coming off of your throws. Can you do that in this game? Um, I haven't heard anything about that. Yeah, it doesn't look yeah. like it. However, um, everybody's throw. Um, this, you know, I'm sure you guys will cover later, but... Um, there is this um, system called one more cancel. It's basically like a Roman cancel in Guilty Gear, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know okay, you okay. can you know cancel the throw. Gotcha, gotcha, right. like that. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Oh, too good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I, I didn't know you could apply that to the throw. Okay, cool. The, the one more, the one more burst, or the one more. One more cancel. One more cancel. cancel. One more cancel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So any other button combinations? Um, I believe we All covered four of them was oh. burst. Right? Um, actually, three. three. Um, oh, really? Oh, let, okay. Let's go with uh, the one more cancel first real quick. Okay. Um, that one, you press A, B, and C buttons together. And you can cancel a lot of moves, but... Um, you have to press the button first. Yeah, you have to be in the middle oh, of an attack. Oh, okay, okay. Like that. Gotcha. So I, I can't just do it standing here like no. this, right? No. Okay. 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 That's first. Right, that's burst, okay. And then the other thing is, you know, as James did right now, uh, the burst. Now, uh, this one, you press A, C, and D together. And uh, people who are familiar with the uh, Arc System games, you know, pretty, pretty much know, like, you know what the burst does. But in this game, there are actually three different types of burst. Um, the first one, if you're getting hit, and then do a burst. Now, this one is called... Uh, ooh, I'm sorry. Um, I want to say it's a counter burst, but I think it's got a different name. Um, it uses up your burst meter, um, pushes away the enemy while they're attacking you. It's just as long, as, long combo as breaker, right? pretty much as long as they're not throwing you or mm -hmm. in the middle of a super. Right, right. Oh, well, you, you can't burst out of throw. No. And you you'll see it up. too. You'll see it no. too. The burst actually gets covered with the X. Exactly. So when you can't burst, so okay. Now uh, the the next one, um, if you're able to do anything mm -hmm. like you know if you're not getting hit or if you're not attacking or whatever and uh -huh. hit the opponent with a burst now this one's called a max burst um you can't see it that how, well how do you do Here, that actually one? let's let, let's let's turn the meter off all right yeah oh, um, okay. go ahead and change the sp gauge to zero the sp gauge oh yeah, yeah yeah okay i know okay the the thing about max burst is um as soon as you activate it you're fully invincible and if you do connect, it'll give you full meter. Um, so press uh, the back button to reset. Okay, got here. You. Go ahead and hit me with a burst. Well, how do I do the the max burst? Um, it, it's the same thing. As long as you're not attacking or uh, being attacked, just press the same three buttons. So you A, B, and uh, no, either um, of them. A, a, C, and D. Oh, A, C, and D. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that. See how um, it's yellow right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Um, if you can see the bottom right there, you got mm -hmm. on like 100. Right, and, I got um, on my meter here. So this is basically a way... Oops. Oh, no, uh, yeah, it yeah. Doesn't, doesn't reset. Yeah. Okay, so this is a way kind of... Well, we'll talk a little probably more strategy-wise yeah. a little bit later. Okay, okay. So, and yeah, so just so you guys can see it as well, anytime you use the burst, you use pretty much all of the burst except for this one, right? This one you use most of it. Yeah. It, it does have like a little bit in there. Okay. Um, like okay. hit me. Oops. Right, the defensive see, see, one the blue the one, you know, thing. Yeah. It's all gone. You okay. said that, that, that there were three bursts though? Yeah, uh, the last one is called a one more burst. Um, very similar to one more cancel. Okay. But you know, you use the same three buttons as the other bursts in the middle of an attack to you know cancel it out. And what happens is you knock the opponent up into the air and they fall down. 
and they're completely vulnerable. Oh, so okay. you can continue on with your combo. Is that also A, C, and D mm -hmm. yes. as well? So I can do this, right? Okay. Exactly. So here's my question then. What's the difference between that and... The one more cancel? Yeah, and the one more cancel. It looks like it gives you a launch. One more cancel can be done pretty much like any time, but you do need 50 SP, basically half the gauge right there. <sighs> okay. Now for one more burst, you can do it any time as long as you have the burst gauge. Oh, really? Okay, but it'll drain my burst gauge exactly. technically, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And it does take time uh, for the burst gauge to recover. So, you know, with you know different ways of using the gauge in this game, you have to figure out whether you want to use it, you know, defensive, uh, defensively, offensively, or even more offensively in a combo. <laughs> gotcha. But um, the, the cool thing about the one more burst is... Um, I think it gives you a little bit of bonus damage for the next hit you connect. As well as, um, um, in this game, the, the more hits you do, um, let's see, um, the, uh, the opponent who's getting hit uh, will become easier to escape out of it as a, co a combo co um, progresses. It just basically increases the hit stun deterioration, right? Exactly. But okay. if you do the one more burst, it actually like brings you back a little bit. Oh, so okay, you can yeah. extend the combo so that way this too. one, that one is one more cancel, right? Uh -huh. And then this one is one, one more, more burst. burst. Yes. Now here's the, okay. So here's the best way to describe it. One more cancel is a Roman cancel. Mm -hmm. It is a Roman cancel. It requires your burst meter though. Oh, no, no. Uh, one more cancel is just um, your SP meter. Oh, okay. Okay. So this literally is just the Roman cancel. Yep. Okay. Half the gauge, just like in Guilty Gear. And this and this has nothing to do with the burst meter nothing. at all. Okay, gotcha. And that's the A, B, and C mm -hmm. button combination. Roman cancels. And then one more burst requires your burst meter and then lets you continue a combo going like that. Exactly. Okay. So uh, with, the, with the one more burst, can you do that on block? In, um, I believe not. Let's try. No, you need to be hidden. Were you trying it right there? Oh, I thought no. Well, you, uh, no, you were. Oh, you want you me to do yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you you try when he's blocking. If you can do the one more burst. Oh, okay. Like try like like okay. after that. Try now. Ah, just just. Yeah, I can do one more burst. Let's see here. Try it once more. Um, just just like just like press B then burst. Just B then burst. Okay. Okay. Block block one. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. There you go. So when they're blocking, you can do it. So technically, you could use one more burst to save yourself, right? Or you can use one more cancel to save yourself, like if you do a really move with a huge delay. So yeah. can I burst this move, for example? Um, there are like certain cer certain things where you cannot uh, one more burst. Okay, okay. That's one of them, right. Okay. okay. But, you know, there are things like, you know, uh, for, for those, those moves, maybe you can do a super cancel instead. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, gotcha. But if I happen to do, for example, uh, mm -hmm. block really quick, like... This is probably unsafe on block, right? So yeah. if I do this, I can do one more cancel to save myself, yeah. or I can do one more burst to save myself. Yeah. Either the, one the of them. The burst can actually push. pushed me away a little bit, also, mm -hmm. as opposed to when you did the cancel, when you right, like right. ended up right in front of so me. So technically, I can. So I noticed. I noticed that. Yeah, so in that okay. situation, you're actually hitting him. He, he's he's canceling out of his recovery after the opponent is recovered from block stun. Yeah. If in that case you do a burst, and the opponent is like doing something, does it have the same effect as a gold burst? Do you get meter? Um, I think if you cancel the the recovery frame of your move, then it becomes a one more. Yeah, now, yeah. if you're completely done with your move and then you do it, then you'll become a uh, max burst. Yeah, you can see. I'm just, I'm just asking, like, like if you if you one more burst out of something that has recovery frames, but that has no more block stun or hit stun, and the opponent does something or gets hit by it. I think the best way to describe it is it has nothing to do with the opponent. It has to do with your state. As yeah. long as you're in neutral, you will get the gold. No, I know. I'm just wondering if if if. Uh, one yeah. more burst has any effects like that? Yeah, oh, okay, it'll, it'll okay. just act as a one more burst. Okay. Okay. So can I do something like? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, like for example, uh, the character you has this um, pretty cool move where you do a quarter circle backwards with a like A or B button, but it kind of comes out a little bit slow. Uh huh. Um, 
if you can actually nail the guys with, you know, especially the B version, you can actually go into a loop combo. Oh, okay. But, um, you know, one of the ways to actually hit that in a combo is by using the one more burst. Oh, uh, gotcha. So in other words, I would do something like, and then... Yeah, move. exactly. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, so, you want to talk recovery now, or...? Okay. Recovery? Oh, okay. Just, just to nail it down. Right. So, again, this is... So for Street Fighter players, think Alpha 3. For other, most other players, think Guilty Gear, Marvel-ish, you know, there's air recovery, mm -hmm. obviously, right? So, obviously there's no ground recovery. As long as I'm hitting you on the ground, there's nothing you can do to avoid. Like, wow, I just hit one button and I got <laughs> that super. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we'll get into that a little bit later, but... um. So, but if I start juggling you, like you said, if we do something, you know, and then, whoops, let me do something like, okay, I'm really bad at this game, obviously, so let's do, and then do something like that. See how I recovered right, right there? Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, there's no timing involved if you want to recover, like, as quickly as possible. Just hold down one of the buttons. It doesn't matter, like, any button. Oh really? As soon as you're able to, you know, recover, you'll recover for you. Right, because in Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue, you you still had to hit buttons to to recover. But in this game, they if you hold the button down, they will recover good. automatically. Okay. So in other words, you can safely recover without having to mash, and you know you won't accidentally do a jump attack or something like that. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Although we'll we'll get into this later, I guess. But there are some disincentives to just holding recovery right. sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean. There are some you, you wanna, how should I say, you know, like change your timing and whatnot. Right. Uh, yeah. And are there multiple directions of recovery? Yeah, I believe so. Um, here, try it. So jump. I'll just hit you out of the air. That's back. Forward. I heard there's an up. What happens if you do up? Oh, uh, maybe I didn't hit straight up. Try once more. Oops. Oops. There, straight up. Oh. And there's no and then, down. There, and then there's neutral too. Okay, here. neutral. Oops, sorry. Okay, so which is just kind of in place. Can you can you Wait, do down? Was that was was that a counter hit? Oops, sorry. That was a counter hit. Definitely a counter hit. Okay, wait wait a second. Let me hit you again. Oh, that's the neutral. Yeah, yeah. There's no bounce there. Yeah, yeah. Wait, was that counter hit? Because you were holding the button? I believe because I was low. No, you hit the button before, right uh, before oh, I hit yeah, you. Yeah, hey, yo, just just hit him low in his jump as he's coming down. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I see. Okay. No, like, no, because like he's right touching now, the button. I, actually, I wasn't. Here, turn no, on smart. It's just because okay. he's low. A little lower. Oh, maybe see, not. Yeah, maybe not. I think it was because you were hitting a button. So I guess I was a little okay. too fast. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now, is there a down tech in in the air? Is there a down recovery? Hold down and recover. Let's try. Okay. Oops, see, you're hitting the button a little too early. Nope, it's the same as neutral. It looks about neutral. the same, yeah. Okay, so there's a left, right, up, and neutral. As far as if you get knocked down on the ground, can you recover left or right, or just neutral? Um, try sweeping me. Uh, that was a neutral. That's wow, back. Wow, you, you recovered the instant you touched the floor. Like, what, what happens if you don't touch a button? Okay. What happens if you don't touch a button? Oh, wow. So you can actually change the timing mm -hmm. of when you do the ground recovery? Wait here, don't touch anything at all? Don't touch anything at all, yeah. Oh, interesting. And of course, while you're on the ground, you know, you can still get hit. Oh, okay. Oh, you're okay, okay, so don't do like, anything. Like, don't do anything. Oh, okay, so I can just go sit here and hit you all day. Okay, so there is a neutral tech on the, from the ground. So do neutral again. Do back. Okay. I'll try forward next time. Looks about the same. I think it's the same. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So off the ground, there's only one tech then. Interesting. So do a late forward tech. Right. Oh. Yeah. Still. Okay. Okay. So there's only one tech off the ground. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Okay. Nice. Now, when you tech mm -hmm. while your character's flashing, they're slightly invincible. Right? Yeah. There's um, invincibility. You can't be hit. You can't be thrown. Okay. Okay. Cool. And that's and only as far as that that white. Thing is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only during that time. Okay. Okay. And one other thing I want to mention, we were talking about how you don't necessarily want to recover right away. Mm -hmm. So in Marvel, you just had to hold forward, back, or let go of the controller, and then when they ended their hit stun, they would three. automatically flip. In this game, you actually have to actively flip, and so there are times you'll keep yourself in hit stun so that you can kind of stay in some 
flight arc, you know, arc flights, and we'll talk about that later. In, in okay, so I, I noticed that there were times when combos are red and combos are yellow. The counter. Mm -hmm. Wow, what's that? So, the red is a legit combo. Now, in the middle of a combo, if the opponent can tech out of it, but you know, instead like doesn't do, it turns yellow, and okay. you know it, it tells you that you know your your combo actually broke. But because the opponent didn't react fast enough, or you know, decided to just stay there, the, the combo continued. Gotcha, gotcha. So in other words, you could have recovered, but you just chose not to, and then you got hit, and the combo is gonna still keep going. Pretty much, yeah. And once you got, once you start getting hit by the sec second combo, then it's a straight combo until you can recover again, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But of course, you know, if you start with like like decent number of hits, and then go into the yellow part. Then you know you get all, all the restrictions of like you know like recovery time or like damage oh, okay. right. or whatnot. So there is hit stun deterioration in mm -hmm. this game, and the hit stun deterioration also applies when the character is on the ground as well, right? Mm -hmm. If you keep if you have a loop that can keep going on a grounded character, eventually yeah. they'll be able to flip out. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, they'll be able to block. Too. And then also something that somebody else pointed out to me is that under the combo meter, it actually shows you how long your hit reel is. Yeah, if you can oh, yeah. see the the bar. Um, yeah, the, the blue, you can barely see it. Let me do full screen here so people can try to see that really quick. That's pretty cool, I like that. Um, the number, of course, is uh, the combo damage. Right. right. So here we go. If you see, oops, I have two screens up here. This is kind of confusing right now. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. Come on, James. And if we do a full screen game... There we go. Okay, so if you look under it, you can see the blue there. That's cool. Okay. Okay. So, let's go All right. back. Um, any other basic stuff that we should know about? Well, uh, since James did it earlier, let's talk about the auto combo. Yeah. Um, well, okay, do you want to just go into that right now then? Real yeah, quick? because it is you know the, the basic of the system, I okay. would say. Okay, okay. So, apparently... Weak attack. If you just keep hitting it, they automatically do. Just, just you know, just mash it all the way into super. Right. So if I keep mashing it, it does chain combo into a special move into a super. The yep. super does cost meter, if you'll notice. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Uh -huh. But it's just basically an easy way to get a, a high damage combo. I think I've I've heard you say that this is designed for people who are playing Persona, coming from the RPG side and are not necessarily. Versed in fighting games. I mean, uh, do something cool looking. In this game, pretty much like all all the moves are either quarter circle, forward or backwards, or um, charge charge move. You know, either hold hold backwards and then yeah, forward yeah, right, or right. down and up. Mm -hmm. um, there's no like uppercut motion, no like you know like 180 motion. Right. That's you know, it, it's it's pretty easy. But you know, there are people who can't do that either. Mm -hmm. But uh, for those people, you know, as long as you you know you can hit the opponent with an A. You just keep hitting and you know, <laughs> you'll do a pretty cool looking combo. Now here's my question. How practical does, is that in actual combat? Now um, here, let's take a look. Um, I'll do a combo until the, the regular move, not the super. Okay. Oh, let's see. So I did about like 1300 damage. Mm -hmm. Now if I do a, a normal combo, um, you know, that's not an all combo. Mm -hmm. So I do like like 1990. Definitely better. Okay. Okay. So gotcha. um, I mean, you know, this is you know different from character to character. Right. Some characters, you know, auto combo does a lot of damage. Um, some some people's, you know, you prefer to do your own combo instead. Okay. But uh, the good thing about the auto combo is that um, there is one particular part in the button mashing where it gives you a bonus in the game. Um, Let's see here, James. Yeah. Can you turn off the SP gauge? Now make it to zero. And let's let's see. Uh, let's change the burst gauge to um, like default also. Now let me use up my burst. Now, um, oh crap. Um, I should. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now you're here completely. You here, here, hit. Okay. Um, 
for for Yukiko, it's her third A attack. One, two, three. See how how much you know um, both on the SP gauge side and on the burst uh, that, that filled up. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, there there are you know that's pretty much universal. Uh, for some characters, it might be like uh, like the fourth hit or whatnot. Okay, okay. But you match your gems. Yeah, I just did so. Four. Yeah. So wow. that that third slash right there gives you the bonus. Okay. Um, it actually has a like a guaranteed damage also. Okay. So, um, like even in a long combo, if you're able to, you know, finish off with a third A hit, mm -hmm. it, it actually does, you know, pretty good damage. Okay. So it's, it's interesting, you can almost trade off damage for free meter this way. Mm -hmm. So in other words, I could probably do a better combo, but then I wouldn't gain as much meter if I did this. Exactly. Gotcha. Um, probably most important towards the beginning of the round, where, yeah. you know, you're empty. Or you know you used okay. up your burst meter. Right. You know you want to get it back as quickly as okay. possible. Okay. okay. Cool. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, super cancel or special cancel? Well, I mean, here's a question mm -hmm. just really quick. Okay, so there's no crouching auto combo. Then. It's only stand A. Just stand. Okay. So but, it's just stand A. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you can do like from like like crouch to stand. Oh. Okay. 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 So, yeah. So that's actually something I was just gonna ask. Is Combo system link based or is it cancel based or it's cancel based chain, right? Chain, Gatling, whatever. Yeah, um, it's just like you know uh, Guilty Gear or Blaze Blue. Um, you know, you either do the auto combo or go from one, two, three like that in sequence. As long as you don't like delay it yourself, you know. I mean, of course, there are moves that kind of like come out a little bit slower, and in that case, you know, it won't connect. But at least you can, you know, like do it in sequence. But are there links? Um, let's see. In the moves themselves, I don't think there are. Or, uh, sorry, like normal attacks. I, g I guess you could like do a, a move and then one more cancel and then do another move. That would be a link yeah, technically. Yeah, kind of, yeah. But okay, so even these auto combos, you can still cancel it into special moves. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, like you can like, jump cancel too. Oh. Like, you know, tr try the, the three hits and then go up. Oh, interesting. Or in his case, you can do uh, the third hit. And do a dash cancel also. Oh really? Oh jeez. Right, so, uh, pe people too. watching are, are are saying that there are links. In some oh cases. okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, jump, jump cancel abilities. Are we done? Yeah, and I'm trying to turn oh, around. That'd now. be so sick. There you go. Okay. I yeah, like it. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, and then how does how does special super canceling work? I mean, okay, um, here let's let's see if we can like turn off the regen again on the health. Oh, turn off regen on the health. Okay. Okay. Every time you do a super cancel, uh, it uh -huh. takes away a little bit of the life, just like when you use the the furious action. Well, really? turn on okay. super. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Just that's fine. Okay. You know, try like like a fireball into like another fireball. Oh. See how you know oh, the, the meter goes a little bit blue. So super cancel requires a bit of your life. Okay, interesting. Looks like almost the exact same amount there. So can you? Is that? I can do. How do you do the supers? Two fireballs plus punch plus attack. Pretty much attack. either like forward or backwards with you right, know either right. A or B so or that? C and D. Okay, I can. Okay, so I can. Well, they're not all air super cancel. Right, 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 right. But I, I was just wondering if I could do that. Okay, okay. So I could cancel pretty much any special move into a super. Then, I believe but, so. Okay. Um, throws. Um, you know that might be a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. throws can you, are not. Can you cancel the, fur, the furious action in the super? Yeah. Uh, for for example, you know his uppercut. You can cancel the sec uh, first or the second hit. Oh, look at that. Okay. But that's um, is that character specific? I guess. Yeah. Because I know um, some like, aren't even hit. Like so. for for her, um, you can't actually cancel the moment I hit, yeah. but I can cancel the the. The landing motion, so that I can like lessen the delay. Oh, okay. Oh, like interesting. Okay. So in other words, if someone blocks it and they try to run up and hit you, you can almost bait them with it as well, yeah. right? Okay. And a lot of you know um, these um, we call it SP skill in this game, but um, have like invincibility at the startup, right, right. Uh, like guaranteed, um, like you know, come out of the move and whatnot. So I, I think that's pretty much it for. No, I guess we haven't talked about um, Awakening. Yes, uh, so. Awakening is a pretty special you know, uh, system in this game. Um, you start out with full life, um, up to 100 on the SP mm -hmm. gauge at the bottom. Right. But once your character's um, life gets reduced to a certain point, they go into this awakened state. 
Yeah, he, he, he was there. Right, right, but I just want to show what, show what happened to them, so... Oops. Where's my super? Now, as soon as I recover, oh, I, you know, there's a little bit of flash graphic, right. and then my, my meter changed from yellow to red, right. and also it increased from like max 100 to max 150. So the interesting thing is, so there's a certain limit of life once it drops below mm -hmm. that it'll go into this mode when you recover. When you recover, not in the middle of a combo. Right. Okay, okay. And once, once you do become awakened, mm -hmm. um, there's a number of advantages, of course. Um, the, the meter gets longer. Mm -hmm. um, you get uh, 50 bonus um, upon entering the awakened state. So oh, you get 50 super meter. Mm -hmm. in other words. So in other words, they literally, the two bars that are added, they give you that yeah, meter as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, let's see. Um, each character has at least one um, SP skill or the super uh, where you can only do in the awakened state. Mm -hmm. And okay. finally, once you're in the awakened state, you take less damage. And it, oh. it, it's actually a pretty significant amount. It's got spatially. So in other words, if you can kill them before they get to the awakened state, you're better. That's the that's the optimal way to go. Exactly. Right? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> okay, because they only go into awakened state when they recover. Right. Mm -hmm. So as long as you don't let them go in there. In other words, so if you're doing a combo and they're about to, your combo is about to end, but they're like this close to dying, right. you really want to do maybe the, the the cancel or the or the one more combo mm -hmm. to try to finish them off. Yeah. Okay. 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 Gotcha. So I think that's it for the basics of the basics, right? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Okay, cool. So in that so, case, let's... Uh, what I want to do is let's get James on here. Yeah. Let's talk about these game mechanics again, but let's talk about them more from a strategy application Definitely. standpoint. So. Okay, so oh, we're going to... Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. One person just mentioned it. There's a penalty for being too defensive. Yes, uh, it's called a negative penalty. Uh, it's been like that with um, Blaze Blue. Uh, right. I want to say Guilty Gear also. Yes. But uh -huh. if you just play, you know, like passively for a long time, um, you will get penalized for it. This is just by dashing. There oh, yeah, it is. There it is. Yeah. Negative so you start to get a little sm uh, negative smile. Like oh wow! The, my my character's not happy at all. Not happy, no. And then what happens when it kicks in? Um, oh man, I wish I could tell you. What? <laughs> but but um, well, but. Um, we'll talk about that a, with James. You know, like several okay. things. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. So, break time? Yep, okay. So we'll be right back and we'll go into a little bit more detail about the system mechanics. For sure. Uh, as soon as I figure out what I'm doing <laughs> here. Okay. As you see, we have another special <laughs> guest here with us. Another uh, James? Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So we have another James and a you and... Okay, <laughs> anyway. But um, this is James Shea. And uh, why don't you tell everybody yes. about yourself? So, uh, I'm just a fighting game nerd. I'm uh, <laughs> people. I have a different profession that is somewhat fighting game related. But, you know, I'm only here as a fighting game nerd today. I'm here as just me, James Shea. That's it. Okay. That's just me. I'm just here, to, you know, as a favor to these guys. I just want to show them, you know... How to play P4U, that kind of stuff. So that's all appreciate I'm here for today. It. Yeah, definitely. Very much appreciate it. Oh, yeah. I often call it P4U because I'm I'm, I'm a really bad person. And even though it's called Persona 4 Arena, and you yeah. Should, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, that's right, because the Japanese version yeah. is Persona 4 yeah, it's all, the, Unlimited. The Ultimate in Mayonaka ultimate. Arena. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. But yeah, like, I, I'll learn how to call it Arena. All right, P4A. <laughs> P4A, we Hashtag got this. Hashtag P4A. Yeah, we got this. Because every time I hear P4U, it makes me think of a DDR song. Yes, I know. Everyone thinks the same joke. <laughs> I'm sick of it. Sorry. Right, it's okay. <laughs> Someone told me you would make that joke, so I was prepared. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. It's pretty good. Nice, nice. So. So, now... So for people who don't know, you've actually been playing this for a little bit now, right? Right, right. And, and in fact, at EVO, you were responsible for streaming this game <laughs> from EVO, correct? Right. Well, I wouldn't say responsible so much as, like, I really wanted to do it. So, like, what I really did was just want to give the game more exposure, because right. I do like Art System more games, and I'm a very big fan of them, you know, mm -hmm. on and off the record. Yeah. So, you know, all I wanted to do was just show up, show the game, you know, show people how to, like, what, what they can expect, you know, from day one, day mm -hmm. two play. So that was my primary goal with that. Okay, okay. cool, cool. So, who, who was the one who actually streamed from EVO? Was that your... Was that it? was, like, you know, our setup kind of thing, but okay, I was really okay. busy with other stuff, you know. Okay, okay. 
cool. And so, oh, we're going to switch characters here? I or? guess. I don't Whatever know, works. Because <laughs> uh, you, you is a good character to start with because oh, he's really? very basic, right? right? He's so. got, if, you wanna, if you're if you good with other fighting games and you do want to learn like the game system specifically, Narukami, like you, Narukami, is like one of the best characters for that. Right. If you're one of those people who, like, maybe you're not as good at like basic fighting and fundamentals, mm -hmm. picking a more specialized character might actually be better for you. Okay. Because uh, some of them aren't as reliant on personas, some of them are more reliant on personas. Yeah, so. I mean, for sure, that we're good. Oh wow, you can change the color of both or one? Yes. <laughs> That's pretty good. Like, That's like that. cool. Okay. So, um, I just lost my train of thought because right. I was so amazed by the color <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, if you buy oh, the glasses DLC, you can put glasses on your Oh, okay, too. okay. Yeah. So, so, okay, this is what I was going to ask was that, um, you know, you, very similar to a uh, Kai Kisuke right. from Guilty Gear. Uh, would you say he's fairly Ragna-like as well, or he's more like Jin? Hmm. He's more like Jin. He has uh, like one of each tool, like one of each major tool. He has got like a projectile, like good low-profile move, like a rushing move, okay. and like you know, useful overheads and stuff like that. Gotcha, so gotcha. as far as his toolbox, he's much more varied. Like Ragna was really more of that like in-your-face rushdown mid-range character. Yeah. Right, right. Marukami has like a lot of every tool okay. basically. Okay, so we went through a lot of different basic. Mm -hmm strategies here and uh you know obviously there's a, a bunch of different systems here mm -hmm. one of the first things i always like to concentrate on is movement right so we have hops we have this thing we have ground dashes forward dashes air dashes and something we forgot to talk about right. which was a double jump mm -hmm. every character has a double jump yes okay um sick the grappler is has movement options yeah he does have movement <laughs> nice. options so it's not super complicated, like, if you've played any other fighting game, uh, the whole concept of movement is still from a really basic standpoint. It's really just like, you want to get into the range of your, where your normals are the most effective. Right. And then, so you can press those buttons. Right. So for example, each individual movement tool just, you know, gets you in the mood for that, basically. So for example, you have Narukami, his jump B is probably his strongest normal in the air. Mm -hmm. So the basic idea is, well, I want to hit with the normal where the hitbox is the best, so I just want to instant air dash in, perhaps. So you like, so like that, Teddy would have to like, he wouldn't be able to jump out of there. It's a particular mm -hmm. situation. So, you know, that's one way you could use his medium, for example. Um, for example, the back dashes also help you adjust your spacing. For example, you can move backwards quickly. And it also has... Um, oh, I have the wrong screens. Hang on a second. Guys. <laughs> I do this all the time when I stream, too. <laughs> I'll, like, I'll like switch to like a wiki window, and then like people will watch the wiki window while I practice combos, and they're like, we can't see, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, there we go. Uh, there we go. Over here. Okay, okay, so... Sorry, guys. The, the back step helps you adjust your spacing. And right. you can... It also has some startup invincibility. So oh, there, this, is yeah, there is invincibility on the back dash. Oh, it man, has. I got hit out of um, there are. It's. It's either five or six frames. It hasn't been fully okay, tested yet. So it's really so small. It's, it's relatively really small. small. When you get hit, you're airborne. So oh, it's actually right. worse in this game because uh, most characters can't perform airborne combos normally. Basically. Right. But for getting hit out but of the. What do you mean like, they can't perform? For example, most. Like Narukami, for example, mm -hmm. he actually can't really launch his opponent off of the ground without meter. Yeah. So for him to get an airborne combo, he tends to actually get more damage. So for the risk reward, it's actually right. worse to get punished out of the so back dash. You, so you don't want to back that. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. So in other words, I don't have some convenient move where I can pop you up and oh yeah. yeah okay. So like your pop-up moves tend to like send me flying or something. Right. So he actually doesn't have very many ways to launch. Gotcha. So like a lot of characters are like this where they have really specific combo systems mm -hmm. and like the risk reward is very different for most characters based okay. on that. And that's part of what actually balances out auto combos. Mm -hmm. For the most part, was that your auto combo is only startable from 5A or from a jump in move or like a standing A. Mm -hmm. And your standing A is really not the best spacing tool. Like, it's usually relatively <laughs> small. Like, right. I'm Kuma yeah. and I'll hit you from all the way over here. <laughs> so, wait, that, the, that was A? That's This is his B. Oh, that's, yeah, his okay. that's his B? Yes. Holy moly. Wait, what, what's his A? It's this move. It's also pretty big, too. Okay. It's, it's like a lot better bad. than my move. Yeah. So in general, depending on the character, uh, the auto combo is more or less useful in terms of actual gameplay. Because you may or may not be able to land those 5As within space. Like maybe you'll be able to land them when you get in, get in on people. But for the most part, it's not that useful in terms of like spacing gameplay. So it will be important for, you know, when you get in. Right, and when you pressure with those A attacks that are faster. Okay, okay. But that's basically one of the, re one of the ways it's actually dealt with. Okay. So from there, we, we have movement. Um, because of that, it's just the general idea of like, well, I want to get into position for where my normals are the best. Now, Kuma, for example, 
he has like this like kind teddy, of teddy right uh, teddy. so teddy in america so, so teddy has this move that's like multi-hitting it's huge it's really fast so uh -huh. you generally want to use his movement with like jumping and then air dash and then doing it again for example okay. is that a cross up it can cross up yes you can also yeah teddy in general he uh is very like quick speed oriented character so his movement options actually really complement the way okay so let, look so hang on one second one thing that's very interesting is that in a lot of other games, when you jump and attack, you're committed to that attack. Right. Right? But in this game, if I jump and attack, if I recover, I can still yes. air dash, right? It depends on the move mostly, but as long as you recover, you can do something else. Okay. So, so there's example, no, like, move limits in the air or anything right. like that. So long as, uh, within oh, reason, yeah, obviously. Yeah, Just so how for much time. For example, Kuma, like, uh, Teddy, like, throws out items as his, like, little, like, assist mechanic thing. Uh -huh. So he can throw out items, then air, da air dash backwards and throw out normals and such. Okay. So that's part of his basic space Is that a game. soda can on the ground? Yes. So when he you, gave you life. It gives me, it gives me me. So it gives you super me. Yes. So, uh... Okay. <laughs> At, at a super jump, we didn't talk about this at all. Like, right. are, yeah. are there okay, any... we didn't talk about right. high jumps at right. all. Yeah, are there any restrictions in terms yes. of movement? When you high jump, you cannot let double jump. Okay. But you can still air dash. Right. But you can high jump in all three directions. That's right. right. You yeah. get different trajectory depending on which one you do. Right. And unlike Marvel games, you cannot control yourself after you high jump. Right? You can air dash, but that's it. There's right, no like right, directional right. influence. There's no the guiding, thing. you know, yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay. So in other words, if I high jump with a B. I can air dash, do another B, or I can do super jump B, air dash A, and then yeah. <laughs> come out with another move, right? As much as you want. And then right, okay. on top of that, uh, there is one unique thing about the spacing, okay. which we did talk about, which is the turnaround. Mm -hmm. And because you can turn around mid-air, you can actually change up your trajectory a lot mid-air as well. For example, his air dash and air back dash behave relatively differently. This one goes like mm -hmm. that. This one goes shorter, but has that little arc. Right. So, but you can actually air back dash towards your opponent, and then you can create better good. spacing. Right. For example, like at this particular range, it's better for me to back dash towards him. For example, and then it might be harder for you to end here because of that. Gotcha. And gotcha. whereas the forward dash, you know, it's a little slower but does move farther. So, for example, at farther spacing, like it's a bit better for that. Cool. Or even when you're higher up, right? Right. For because for example, if I want to attack with a forward air dash, I'm better doing it low. But if I'm in the air, I'm better. Yeah. See, I I land in front of you. Now, right. here's another thing. Can I do this? Can I jump, turn around, back dash, turn around, attack? Yes, you can. Wait, does, does turn around cancel your normal? No, it does. You can you can car normals into it, but it's not that important. For example, so I can do jump, turn around, back dash, and then turn around again, right? You can turn around again. So. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, so, okay, yeah. there it is. Wow. So in other words, my attack here is better like this. So if I jump high enough, turn around, and then... Oh, jeez, that's hard. Yeah, it is a little wow. challenging because uh, actually the frame data on when you, uh -huh. when and where you can turn around is not fully understood. So okay, it's very okay. like played by ear at the moment, but okay. in general, because it's actually kind of useless to turn around twice, people don't really do that so much. Basically. Dude, but I just I noticed that you could turn around as often as you feel like it. Pretty right? much. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! But the way that you control it literally in gameplay is actually kind of like it's right. kind of complicated. And it does like waste extra movements on your own right. part. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So that's so, so another so jumping wise we have regular jump, a double jump in your regular jump, mm -hmm. and a high jump. That's right. And then when you're in the air you've got a forward dash and a back dash that you can switch around with the turnaround button. That's right. Wow, that's so in general, crazy. but the, the basic idea is still the same. You just want to get into range of where right. you're almost the best. So the best thing to do, like if you want to get away from a opponent, let's say I'm a character who's better off with range. Mm -hmm. I'm better off jumping, turn around, and dashing back. You like could that, theoretically. Right? Technically, the instant air back dash is also very fast too. Oh, I see. So oh, yeah, it, is fast. it is very fast also. But like I said, you can get negative warning as well. Right. Now, negative warning... Um, it strictly increases the risk-reward ratio of a match. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't actually limit your options in any way. What it does is just make you take more damage. So oh. if you turtle, and you're really, really good at turtling, uh -huh. and they never hit you, the negative warning doesn't do anything to you. Because I know on Guilty Gear, the negative just just, just drains your super yeah, meter. You lose right? all your super meter, yeah. you lose all those options, basically. But like in this particular game, okay. I like that. I think, you will, you'll good. keep your options, but you know, if you get yeah. hit, if you get hit, it just hurts. It's time to now. Is it is it just if you run away that you get the negative penalty? Now, or? actually, it's really specific. It's actually how it's related to how much the camera moves away from yourself. Oh, so, for so example, cool. if I'm here, <laughs> if I'm here and I backdash uh -huh. forever, I'll actually never get it. Oh. Because what happens is, is that I'm actually not running away from you. 
I'm actually still fighting on your terms, basically. But if you come close to me, uh -huh. and I start backdashing away, I start getting it immediately. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty much directly related to how you physically play. And now you're, now you're sad face here, yeah. so if I hit you... So how long does that last? Way. It lasts... It's kind of not super well understood yet, but what, from what we understand is it's similar to Blaze Blue, where if you do positive actions like running at your opponent, moving the camera towards your opponent, uh, landing with really certain kinds of attacks, like the like the super arm uh -huh. overhead, you'll get out of negative warning that way. Uh -huh. So by taking risks, basically, is what I think the system boils down to, you'll get rid of it. Huh, interesting. Sick. Okay. So in general, that doesn't come up too much. Uh, it's more for like matchups where characters can get away from a specific character very easily. Mm -hmm. So then that's what it is there to balance. It just makes the matchup risk reward wise more in favor of the person who has to slowly approach. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, I'm okay. Down. So back back to a little bit about movement here. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the movements. So we just covered a bunch of air options here. Right. So w since I can't double jump when I super jump, mm -hmm. why would I ever want to super jump instead of double jumping or like jump in air dash and then? Oh, okay. So if I jump in air dash, I cannot you double, can't double jump, jump in my yeah. air. So can I jump double jump in air dash? No, no. you cannot. It's just one of those. It's two. A, so you get that, one in the system, it's called like air action, for mm -hmm. example, air dash or double jump. That's mm -hmm. pretty much how it is. Okay. I don't believe there are moves that take up your air action in this game. But, like, like you uh, need attacks to take up air yeah. action. Because yeah. Guilty Gear does that. There yeah. are moves that when you do the move, even if you recover, they just said, you know what, you can't double jump anymore. Yeah. And then there's some of them that restore your double yeah. jump if you've so used it. The, the Guilty Gear is, oh, yeah. God, Guilty yeah. Gear. Okay. But, like uh, it <laughs> takes, you have to go to college to learn this game. Yeah. So you need a course <laughs> to learn Guilty Gear. You do need Gear, a PhD so. in yeah. Guilty Gear. But uh, in general, it's, it's much more simple in this game. I do believe that like attacks that put you airborne, will more or less sometimes take away your action. So for example, like if I did something weird, like let's say I do this this move, uh, mm -hmm. not that one, and I cancel it in the air. Uh -huh. Like for example, like that time I had the air action there and I was able to uh -huh. double jump, but there are some moves that they take away your jump action when you do them. And okay. let's say you recover by one more canceling, you, do, you don't get it. Right. Hey, okay. try, you'll try your air DP, the air uh, BD. Posting move here? Yeah. But I can't one more cancel this, I don't think. You cannot. Oh, That's right, not right, a right, cancelable right. move. You can cancel into the Zeodyne, which is the fireball super with C, and right, then cancel right, right. that. So you can try that. <laughs> yeah. And then one uh, more cancel. No, that. Okay, no worries. We, we, we won't worry about <laughs> yeah. that. But uh, back to the original question, right. which is why would I want a super jump as opposed to just. Now, super jumping, um, you can get much higher faster. Like the jump acceleration is much uh -huh. faster than double jumping. For mm -hmm. example, if you double jump at the same rate that I super jump once, you probably you won't make it to the top of the screen as right. fast as I can. And I lose my air dash. Right. right? So Whereas I'll keep my air dash as well. So the super jump does have particular. Okay. Um, okay. Has specific things like for Kuma, or Teddy especially, he can super jump back, make an item, then back dash. You know? mm -hmm. And then for him, it's actually really useful. Okay. Okay. We'll explain Kuma's items at some yeah, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. But yeah. We'll definitely do that.